and then I now I'm down to 239. You know, and this is within like a couple of days. Okay. And then you know, like yesterday, I couldn't go to the bathroom, but I'm drinking water like crazy. Okay. And then today, I've gone to the bathroom four times already, and I'm hurting, cramps, you name it. So I have a feeling I'm going to spend the majority of my day in the, in the bath in the bathroom. So it's been going back and forth like that, and it wouldn't be so bad. But um, my um, I joined the, the uh, I diet vet. Yep. Yeah, I signed I signed up for the diet vet now. And at the at the time I signed up the, for it, I said, Oh, this is gonna be a breeze. I lost ten pounds the first time, I lost seven pounds. Not a problem, you know. And so I sign up and the first thing I do is gain about ten pounds. <laughs> and it's well, like some of that too. I was looking at some of the things that you you were eating out a little bit more, so part yeah. of that conservation with salt. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, like yesterday we went to uh, my sister. It wasn't even planned. My sister just called up and says, "Meet me at over here," you know. And I was just thinking I was going to get me a soda, but I saw a dish there I hadn't seen before, and I was like, mm, "I wonder what that tastes like." So I asked for a sample of it. So they gave me a little box about that big, and it had two pieces of steak and two pieces of shrimp, and the rest was all veggies. And so that's what I had. And then I cut, and then I had a cranberry, uh, sugar-free cranberry tea. Yeah. And I thought, oh, that sounds good. So I tried it. It was pretty good. So, but I spent most of the day yesterday drinking water and. How's your rings feeling? I I've been losing them. Okay. They I, I wish I could find that one that he gave me. You know, for losing the weight, but these I, they've been dropping off my finger. Okay. So part of that's going to be cold because the vasodil, you know, the mm -hmm. the you're not getting the blood to the fingertips because want to keep it um, internally to keep you warm, uh -huh. right? And so you don't get the blood flow to your hands uh -huh. and the and to your feet as much. Okay, that's where the heat's going to dissipate the most, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. for that reason, that's why a lot of people their rings, even mine. <laughs> it gets, when it gets cold outside, they get really loose mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, it's been. I've been having to. I've, I've actually gone days without it just because I'm afraid I'll sure. lose them. You know, type of thing. I saw that you had lost seven and a half inches in your in your notes. Yeah. I, I wrote down my measurements. You can keep that if you like. These are previous measurements. Uh, yeah, the previous and now. And down below is the, that new scale that we got, the, the readings that it gave. Okay. What's DCI? I have no idea. Oh, daily calorie intake. Okay. 26, that's a big number. Um, let's see. So I think that they're guessing what I should have or something. I don't even know how to work that part of the scale. I just go step on it. Uh, it took me a while. I programmed it. I'm not even sure if I programmed it right. <laughs> so yeah. So it was it was really kind of on the complicated side. And then it said that uh, anyone with uh, heart problems, uh, pacemaker, electronic medical yeah, devices. Yeah, don't use it. And they even said that, you know, like this, I probably shouldn't use it because of this. Well, it's because of the, um, uh, the electrical current that's into your body to evaluate your bone um, and your water and your muscle weight. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why, or percentage. And it can mess, mess with it. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get your let's get your weight. Okay. Let's see where you're at today. Uh, I want you to take off the I got like 15 mm, layers she's of clothing on me. <laughs> She's it was cold in here this morning, and now it's warming up. So. Oh, I like warm. I'm been freezing something here. Uh, I like it. Two thirty up. You're up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Actually, you want to hear something weird? Your scale actually has me less than mine was. <laughs> well, you had a pretty big rebound yeah. uh, this past week it was for you to swing that much and then come back down. Yeah. When did you notice? Because last week you weighed 230. Did you weigh 234? 234. Yeah. So 
talk to me a little bit about when you went. So between, well, I saw on Wednesday that you left here. He decides to take you to Burger King. Right? <laughs> so I was like. <laughs> Alright, so you went to Burger King, and then when did you notice that your weight was up to 240-something? We bought the scale a few days ago. It was over the weekend. And um, it was in the 230s then, but uh, a couple days ago it started going into the 240s. Right. And then yesterday it was 247, or 240, yeah, did I say 247, 249? That's um, a pretty big Yeah, increase. and then... And then it just dropped, you know, and, but, you know, like yesterday, I'm drinking all this water, and I couldn't even pee, let alone anything okay. else. And so, so you're I figured, holding a lot of fluid. Yeah, I was holding a lot of fluid, and I'm thinking, you know, because of the, the um, surgery, I had dropped a lot of weight, and I, I'm very sure that it was, um, oh, what do you call it, dehydration? Probably because some of that. My mouth felt like hot. Right. Part of that too, but the other thing too is typically when you're going through repair, your body requires more energy to repair itself, mm -hmm. so your metabolism can go up dramatically. Okay. And so that that's one reason why people can experience dramatic weight loss uh, with uh, when they get hospitalized. Mm. Um, you know, obviously that's one element, but that's that's you know there's multiple el elements, but we do know from a physiological perspective, your metabolism can go up during repair when there's injury or whatever it might be. Yeah. So that can lead to that. Yeah, and I'm, I'm thinking that, uh, you know, like with the constipation and the, I, I, you know, it's like once everything starts getting in the right direction, right. dehydration, obviously, I'm holding water now because I'm starting to break through whatever that is okay. type of thing. So I'm guessing that's what it is because, like I said, my weight's been going Back and forth how and much? How much were you back. eating off plan this past week? Uh, not very much, because I've I've been trying since about yeah Friday. I started really trying hard to stay on track. It wasn't a hundred percent, but it was very close. And even yesterday, I I made my stuff to go with us on, on where we were going, and I was nibbling. Uh, we did buy a pizza, but you know when I buy pizza, the crust part's about right. that long, and then of course whatever the piece is. So it's not a very big piece, and I got to buy the, the pizza, so it's mostly veggies. <laughs> and um, you know, like I've been having like a really good salad. You know, most of it's lettuce, but then I, you know, I just basically grabbed all the vegetables that are in there and just chopped everything up, put it in a huge bowl, serve it up to everybody when it's left over is mine. You know, which is, yeah, what day did you join diet uh, diet that thing? It started on the 15th, but it's the 13th when I officially weighed in. So that would have been Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. When and you I was 240.6 when I signed in. And know. then you went up. And then I went up after that. And I was like, wouldn't you know? And then it cracked me up because I've been on a couple of uh, contest things, as you know. And it's funny because, you know, it's like here I am losing all this weight. Oh, and there's no problem. You know, I can do this. And as soon as I sign up, I gain all this massive amount of weight. <laughs> and it's like, are you kidding me? Psychological. I don't know what it is. But then, you know, like I said, the... Uh, when did you make the decision you were going to sign up? A few days before that. Okay. You know, and, but the only problem was is when I... So I've got a question to ask you. Okay. Because there's, like you said, it's psychological. Uh-huh. Right? So when you made that decision you were going to sign up, how much of it was, I'm going to take a few days off, not going to worry about it, and then I'm going to start the day I start signing up? No. I don't think it was like that. Because usually the only time when I'm, you know, really bad is after we get done seeing you, this is my what we call my free day, you know. And but I try to be within reason. Sure. You know, I don't try to you know eat massive amount of stuff. But uh, uh, we bought the scale before. Yeah, we had to buy the scale before I could sign up because you had to know what your weight was. Okay. It, it, and the scale had to be in the picture. Okay. 
Okay. So it just it just seemed like when I sort of listening and hearing and evaluating that obviously the weight caught up to you mm -hmm. before your start. I mean, you know, you started before your weight caught up to you from mm -hmm. all the things that you may have been doing, right? To to demonstrate a, a greater loss. So it's mm -hmm. kind of like I can gain weight, but I can also equally lose it fast. So if I start a little bit higher, then my weight loss will appear greater. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, the only the only guilty thing I would do would be like drink some water just before I got on the scale. Sure. Yeah, you know, that would be the worst I would do. But um, the because um, the, the the rules are that you have to be like in shorts and a t-shirt, no shoes. Right. So that way they can see what you look like when you stand on the scale. So I've, I've worked with enough up. patients who've been in weight loss competitions. They tend to gain weight before they start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, you know, it's like okay, let's have an extra meal before we get on the scale, type of yeah. thing. Yeah, that, that makes sense. But um, I've been having more fun with it, just being silly. Like last night, I I did a picture of me eating. Yeah, you know, I had that the pizza that we had just bought, and I was like acting like I was gonna eat the whole thing. You know, and. Um, you know, what, a, just a little snack before bedtime <laughs> and weigh myself, you know. And, but I felt fell over when I stood on the scale because, all of, you know, most of the day I've been having water. I had my apple and my yogurt. I had a uh, food bar, a shake. Uh, we did go to the, 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 the little panda, but like I said, I asked for a sample size thing. And what did we have after that? Before that. Subway. Oh, yeah. I did put that in there, too. Oh. Um, ordered a sandwich, but I asked him to uh, eat, cut it in half, and I yeah. had trouble eating the little half that I got, you know, but it was mostly vegetables. I made sure they got piled it on with vegetables and stuff like that, and I was like, that was more, you know, and it was one of those, I know my appetite from before I had the surgery to now is dramatically different, and so... I'm only able to eat a little bit at a time. So the other half of that sandwich is still in the refrigerator. <laughs> I couldn't finish it. Um, I nibbled, you know, I had that with my apples and yogurt. That was all I could manage. And I still, you know, I was still close to bedtime before I finished the apples and yogurt. Okay. You know, it's like that. It's been like that all for a while, you know. And But yesterday I was really pushing for the water, trying to drink as much water as I could and uh, managed to get my total amount of water in. Just wasn't getting rid of it. You know, so I figured out, I would have figured that's got to be the, the reason for the massive amount of weight gain type of thing. And then, like I said this morning, <sighs> went to the bathroom at least four times before I got here. So it's just, I'm like my body's torn back and forth. Can't, you know, I want to save it up and then it just drops it all in one shot. So okay. It's, it's kind of on the weird side. I don't like weird side. Okay. <laughs> okay. But well, I mean, I think the big thing about this coming week is, is, is stay consistent. Yeah. With which I want you to try to get back. I know you're doing your notes and all that kind of stuff, but try to get back to logging your food is equal. Mm -hmm. All right, you're spending a lot of time giving me a lot of good notes, but I also want to see... See if you can... Yeah, what you're eating. Because, yeah. um, you know, with that kind of a weight gain, I mean, it's kind of a testament, too, that you're, you know, with where you're at and the medications you're on, you can retain fluid quickly, mm -hmm. right? That's a sign of your kidneys, mm -hmm. okay? So your kidneys have to filter that out, all right? And so the more that you do that, the more you can stress your kidneys. So stay consistent, keep that salt down as much as you can, you know, obviously drinking more fluid and make sure you're staying consistent with your meds, which I know that you, you indicated you were, so yeah. just being consistent from that. Uh, let me get your blood pressure real fast, too, since she wakes up, so just to make sure. Oh, I was going to, you know, how I tell you about my, my bowl? That's my serving bowl. Uh, or? You know, like if I, you know, like, no, I'm going to make that spaghetti I was talking about. Okay. That would be my serving, and that's the half a cup. Now, so spaghetti squash is about 25 calories right. in comparison to a, a cup of, of pasta is 200.
doing those things now that you're, uh, are you released to be able to do those things back to eat, eat, uh, taking those pills? Oh, you're, yeah. You are? Okay, yeah. good. Oh, that one might be a ring. Yes, it is. Uh-oh. Empty? I got like three left in there. Okay. Yeah, but right after I got out of the in, uh, the hospital, what was it? Oh. Whoa, is that good? 97 over 65, yeah. That's good? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I might talk to my doctor about Poises. working off of the 47. Yeah. All right. Just be careful getting up and getting down. Yeah. I might talk to my doctor about getting off those pills. Let me go get this. Oh, and I'll need supplies. Okay, I don't have any chocolate chip. I got vanilla and I have strawberry. Works. Fine. Yeah. Click all. Yeah, because the the I'm always a sucker for chocolate and caramel. Everybody <laughs> is too. And but the the peanut butter. The thing about the peanut butter is I am not a peanut butter fan, and I actually like it. So. Good. Looks good. Um, Take those. The colonex pill doesn't need it. Mm-hmm. All right, help with that. And then uh, let's find us some ice cream for colonex real quick. Oh, and tomorrow I see the doctor, and hopefully I'll get a medical release for the gym. Good. I've been trying really hard to be good. Of course, this last week too, that might be a contributor too. Is I had instead of cleaning like I thought I was going to be doing, I ended up with all this insurance paperwork having to have pictures, research, that kind of thing, of all the losses that we had from the sure. basement. And, um, and so I pretty much was stuck all day long at the computer because of that. And um, I just finished, oh, and the videos too. I just finished putting the videos together and the paperwork together and that kind of thing. I'm getting ready to mail it and then I get an email saying that my stuff's been switched to a different department. And so we're trying to find out what's the hops and I don't know if that guy who they sent followed through on what he was supposed to or if he really was just a con man because I really honestly think he was just pulling a con job to be honest because it was one of those um, because I wasn't going to be willing to sign his paperwork he indicated that he wasn't going to turn the information into the insurance company. And he wanted me to sign a contract agreeing to give him part of my insurance money, whether or not I used it. Oh. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, right, that's going to happen. <laughs> well, I know some of them are all said, like, basically it's a non, like a non-compete that you know, we'll do whatever work we need to do for the insurance money agreed upon. So you typically... Yeah, instead of getting an estimate, they'll just say that, well, we'll do whatever what they, what your insurance settles for. Right. Right. And yeah, well, which is all well and good. Yeah. But the problem was, is what he wanted, you know, see, when, when they come out to look at your stuff, they get a fee from the insurance company to do that. Right. You know, and he, he not only wanted that fee, he wanted me to give him part of my check whether or not he did the work. You know, so if I chose to get someone else to do the work, then he would uh, get, uh, I think he wanted like 20% of my check, whatever it was. That's crazy. And I'm like, no. You know, and of course at the time, the first time he came in, I was still medicated from the right. surgery, and I was kind of like, yeah, he's talking to me, and my brain just was not computing what he was saying. I just, it was just flags popping up, wrong, 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 but I couldn't register as to why it was wrong. And then I called the insurance company and come to find out he was pulling a con job. Wow. You know, and so I, when he came back, he, he says, well, I'm getting ready to turn in the paperwork, so I need you to sign this contract, and there's a $1,000 mark on it. And I'm like, you're right, I'm going to sign that? I don't th- and, and an open space for another dollar amount? I don't think so. You know, and so I, I made it clear that I was not going to sign. And my son, who's, you know, as you know, the Marine, he six foot and built like a mountain. He's standing there looking kind of vicious. Yeah. <laughs> and so the guy decided he best just, you Crazy know, on down the road. keep yeah. on going, you know. And so it's questionable if he even filled out the paperwork. I hadn't heard 
that he done anything. And so I called my insurance company right away and let her know that what was going on. And so yesterday I got an email from her saying that my case has been transferred to another department. Mm. Yeah, and so I'm wondering if the guy, yeah, what he was pulling or what. So there's a lot of fraud out there. Oh yeah. All right, so let's see you back next week. Regroup, okay? And uh, let's see where you're at next uh, Wednesday morning. I put you in at ten. Ten fifteen. Okay. Okay. Morning.